Okay, just messing around through YouTube, and this this title, New York Times Opinion Editor Resigns. What? Why does the media need an opinion editor? That doesn't make any sense if you're supposed to supposedly reporting the news unless you're not reporting the news but instead reporting a narrative then you'd need an opinion editor seriously New York Times opinion editor well the current one resigned well previously current one the former one has already resigned, so they're getting a new one. That appeals to nothing in light of the truth that they have an opinion editor. Which means they're not reporting the news. They're reporting a narrative. Is anyone else getting what's going on here you know for me it was always obvious that the news was fake that the only thing worth watching up until I developed my senses so that I could smell the rain coming hours in advance the only thing that the news was worth watching for was the weather and if I want to know the weather I can walk outside smell the air and I can tell you if it's going to rain or not. I don't watch the news for anything. Anything other than, you know, keeping track of which idiots are ha being stupid and how stupid they're being. And I'm not talking about politics. I don't watch the news every day. I'll I'll look at uh, one of these three minute videos. I'll watch the first fifteen seconds of it, and that's all the news I'll need. That's it. I grew up during the era where. So many people were glued to the TV watching the news 24-7. I hated that. I hated visiting someone's house, a uh, friend of the family or uh, something like that, or, um, uh, oh, what else was there? Tons of other things. I just... I hated going to visit people's houses and they would have nothing but the fucking news on and it would be going all day long every fucking day. I'd go to a friend's house. Their parents would be watching the fucking news. They'd have a 24-7 fucking news channel. Who the fuck needs that? So yeah... All the mindless sheeple are brainwashed by mass media, which is itself not reporting the news, but reporting a narrative. So the New York Times opinion editor, that's a, that's a position that they have. They edit opinions. Whose opinion are they editing? Yours. Not their own, it's yours. Writing 101. Look up the uh, the writing techniques they use in Hollywood for all these big budget movies that roll bank. Don't argue how much bank they roll. Just look at the look at the fucking courses they have to take for writing in Hollywood, and if you dissect what they're telling you in the media in these short segments. 
it fits the same damn thing because each segment is a different part of that writing narrative don't believe me go look for yourself it's gonna cost you a pretty penny to get the uh, the information on how the writing rules that Hollywood goes and uses I can tell you a few basics there's your A plot and your B plot your B plot is usually a um, a secondary story of character arcs that interweaves into the A plot which is the main overall story that the entire movie is about you've got romance subplots you've got character growth subplots you've got the main story arc all of those interweave then the elements that uh, you have to have in every movie um, you have to have some form of romance or love interest for the characters you have to have com comic relief you have to have your main narrative plot which is basically secondary to the the overall narrative that controls the A, B, and or C plots. So the main story is an idea of where you're going. That's the A plot. The B, C, and or D, or B and or C, either way, either mix. It's usually like four other things at most at the absolute most let's see the plots, the narrative, the love interest the comedic relief the betrayal for hero movies there's always a betrayal always there always has to be a betrayal and then the time breakdown the first five minutes of the movie this this and this have to happen at these specific intervals of time it's broken down all the way down to each last and every individual second that the movie is scheduled for runtime that's why so many really good jokes and really good plot uh, points get edited out in post-production and they wind up in as extra content on either a blooper reel or deleted scenes unless you have like a really good group of editors and producers get together who can weave all of their uh, content into a, uh, a director's cut version which would have all of the so-called deleted scenes put into the feature but that's rare that's usually done as a monetary enhancement scheme to get more money out of the individual buying the movie and yeah they think of all this shit years in advance of the release of the movie in theaters all the way down to your home release where you go and buy it and have a copy for yourself that's the narrative that's that's how deep and intricate it is same shit with news they report specific things at specific times of the year and if you pay attention you'll notice it's more than just reporting increases and in, and in, in people getting sick just before flu season it's more than reporting the newest vaccine along with that right after reporting more people getting sick just before flu season so it's, it's the statistic increase followed by the vaccine followed by there's flu season right there around the corner it's all a narrative 
Yeah, but anyway, I could go on for fucking hours. I could literally write a fucking book, probably about that thick on the fucking subject, of just, you know, rattling off examples. But, you know, fuck that noise. <laughs> We've got better shit to do. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. News corporations got their own YouTube channel. A couple of years ago, people were saying, well, not all people, just a couple of YouTubers were saying traditional media is dead. Uh, does it look like it's dead? Does it look like traditional media is dead to you? They control the way you think with the narrative. It's called psychology. Traditional media is not dead. You're just too dumb, ignorant, naive, and moronic to open your eyes and see the truth because you're a mindless sheeple slave to them. That's why I don't have a script for anything I do on YouTube, that is. I don't play with the narrative. I, I don't do politics. I don't do facts, which are nothing more than words written on a piece of paper. Facts are black and white ink on paper. Truth transcends beyond that. You can't fucking touch it and you can't rewrite it. It'll never be gone, because it'll exist long after you're dead. I don't deal in opinion. I don't deal in fact. I only deal in truth. So, there it is. As far as news goes, I don't deal with opinion. And I've, I've long known that the news was nothing more than a brainwashing cult. But, now that right there. Opinion editor. That just proves just how bad it really is. I didn't know they had an opinion editor. I didn't even know that was a thing. But I knew they were spinning a fake narrative along with all the other fake flags flying around. I've known that. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> I'm done ranting. Yeah, maybe in my next video I'll be doing another stupid monolithic bullshit in a video game for everyone to laugh at. So, till next time, you know, leave a like or a dislike, subscribe or don't, turn on notifications or don't, use the links in the description to support my drug addiction to alcoholism and my rampant overuse of caffeine, or don't, but just remember, if you do, I'll be doing more drunk Let's Play shit, and... Hopefully, it'll be hilarious. Oh, wait. I take that back. Definitely, it'll be hilarious. Because I am YouTube's favorite idiot. And possibly yours. But until next time, fuck off. Woo!